Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to use the dget function in Excel 365. The dget function is used to extract a single value from a data set on specified criteria. Remember, this function is designed to return only one value. If no record matches, function will return hash value error and if more than one record matches the criteria dget function will return hash num error in this example we are working with sales data that includes salesperson name region product sales amount and month we'll use dget function to find a specific value from this data set that meets certain conditions. dget function takes three parameters. Database parameter is the range that includes your data and it should include the column headers in the first row. In our example range A1 to E22 is the database. Field parameter is the column from which to return the data. In this example, we need sales value. So use the column name in quotes or the column index number. Criteria parameter is the range containing the conditions to filter the data. In our example, it is defined in range H1 to K2. Remember, the criteria includes the same header name as defined in the database or data set. Let's understand how dget function works. Type equals to dget open bracket select the database or data set from A1 to E22 comma now we need sales data in output so either use header sales amount in quotes or column index number 4 in the second parameter comma select the criteria h1 to h2 to filter the data based on reason only closing bracket and press enter function will return hash num error because multiple rows are available for north reason now update the criteria parameter from H1 to I2 and press enter. Again, D function will return hash num error because multiple rows are available for reason north and product A. Now in the criteria, we will include month also. So change the third parameter from H1 to J2 and press enter. This time function returns the sales value because single data is available for selected criteria. Now in the criteria, we will include sales amount also. So change the third parameter from H1 to K2 and press enter. Function will return hash value error because the value for selected criteria doesn't exist in the database. Now in the criteria set, change the month from January to February. The function will return sales value for the selected criteria because the value exists in the data set. So that's how you can use dget function to extract a single value from a large data set based on specific criteria. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of new videos. Thanks for watching.